Hi there, here's Kakako with a new program for you. Uh, this one was suggested by a viewer by Blood Dragon and he wished a program to build platforms and yeah, so today we've got a platform program. Uh, well, you can build with it rectangular platforms. And basically of any size, if the turtle runs out of material, it will just wait until you provide some more uh, materials. As the turtle moves only within the space of the uh, platform, you can also use the program to, for example, put in new floor in your in your houses. And as a bridge, or let's say a simple bridge, is nothing more than a long platform, you can also use the program for this. At the end of the episode, I will also show you how to, well, or give you some hints about how to combine several program calls, so you can build with one program even more useful things. Okay, but now let's get started. All right, here is a turtle and I will show you with it how to use the program. First we have to paste bin get it. Paste bin get and oops and the ID is F B Y X capital V Z S X and the name is T for tool and plat form. Okay, and it's uh, really simple to use. We just execute it t let form and yeah, we can put in building materials in any slots as, as we like. Uh, the platform size, uh, you will either be asked to enter the x and the y um, parameters uh, or you can also start the platform program already with these two parameters saying T platform and then 510. Uh, yeah, and if the turtle runs out of material, it will just wait until it's, uh, it's resupplied. So I press the key, X, the depth, let's say, uh, let's make it very small for the beginning, 3 and 6. And it's already sleeping as it needs more material. No problem, we just put in the materials and after 10 seconds of, of sleeping uh, the turtle will try to get some new materials. 3 by 6 and voila! Alright, as next I want to show you two time-lapses, or one time-lapse, then an explanation, and again a time-lapse. The first of the time-lapses has some, yeah, I have to apologize for the bad quality, there's some blue flickering thingies in it and I don't know how, what to do against it, it's uh, really a pity, but, but the second time-lapse then is again of good quality. So enjoy! So, you can also use the turtle to put in a floor in your houses. Uh, I took out here the, the lowest layer from this 9x9 nine nine. and as the turtle moves only within the space where later the platform is, you can use it to, yeah, to build the floor for you. And let's have a quick look inside the turtle. I put in the material in, in this pattern in order so we will get, well you will see it uh, uh, when, when the turtle builds it. Um, this is due to the uh, movement pattern the, the turtle uses and we will later have a closer look on how the turtle moves and how you can uh, put this to use in your, your builds. Okay, then we just start the turtle. 
Beauty Platform 7x7 So, we watch from up here Oops. and keep an eye on how the turtle in which succession the turtle builds which blocks. First it uses the material of the first slot, there were in six uh, spruce wood, then there were six um, yeah, from this lighter uh, wood planks and so on and then I put single blocks in so we get this pattern. Okay, thank you turtle. And uh, maybe we have a look to the other platforms we already built. I can give you a better explanation of, of this movement pattern. Alright, here we are on this colored wool platform we saw earlier. Uh, to build this I put in uh, seven different types of wool, each of them with seven items, seven pieces, so seven white wool, seven orange, magenta and so on. And the turtle, and you can, I think you can see here uh, how the turtle built it. Uh, first the turtle moved in this back corner. Uh, generally the turtle starts in the back corner whenever the y parameter is an odd number if it's and it's 7 by 7 so it's an odd number if it's an even number it would start here in the front corner so it's first went back here to the corner put seven blocks not putting a block in the first row here so this is number 6 number 7 then the next slot number 2 with orange wool seven pieces seven pieces magenta, seven light blue, seven yellow, seven green and then going back putting pink wool. So this is the the movement pattern uh, the turtle uses for building the platform. Then let's have a look into the nether because I want to show you uh, how to combine some of the commands uh, so you can build yeah, some some even more interesting buildings with the platform program and another uh, program which I already uh, presented in a different video. Okay, let's switch to the nether. Alright, now in the nether uh, and this turtle is prepared with a batch file uh, which uses several commands to build one more complex building. It's a, it's a pump house uh, which I will use for, for my lava pump system. And let's have a look in the program. I called it, oops, batch. So edit batch pump house. Uh, the first command makes the turtle go 15 blocks forward, then one block up, turn left, forward, three blocks and one right, to be in the right position to build a 9x9. Nine nine. Uh, I updated also this program on the paste bin under the same ID. Now it's called B9x9 for build and it uses an additional parameter. If you set it here to true, it won't wait and, uh, for, a, for a key press, so it just starts building. Uh, then the turtle, after finishing the 9x9, the turtle goes down one step and builds a platform 9x9 nine nine as a floor, returns back here to where I stand and builds from here a platform as a, as a, a bridge to the 9x9. Nine Okay, let's try this out and have a look into the time lapse for the turtle building this construction here.
All right. Now we've got a nice pump house and it was built safely by a by a turtle without the risk of being attacked or or to drop in the lava with all our valuable equipment. Okay. I hope this thing is useful for you. And we probably have hit the end of the episode. Hope you find the program useful. Please hit the like button if you like the video or find the program useful. Please comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future programs. And then, well, I just have to say thanks for watching and bye bye.